As the morning continues in Chardon, many are wondering what can be done to prevent tragedies such as this one. Today, we ask an award-winning teacher and a University of Dayton expert for some ideas. Jordan Burgess is live to tell us why the answer is neither easy nor simple. In the aftermath of a tragedy like this one, we all want to know what could have been done to stop it from happening and how we can keep other schools safe. But as I discovered today, sometimes the answers aren't that simple. Yes, it has been a busy day. It's been crazy. Eric Combs is an assistant principal at Fairborn Primary because of one of the biggest tragedies in American education. I never felt so lost. You know, here I am. You know, at the other side of the world, and here our kids are, you know, killing kids. Eric was chief of air base okay, defense so at a base in Korea when the Columbine shootings happened in 1999. The event pushed him toward being an educator after he left the Air Force. Now, years later, another school shooting and another search for answers. Could it have been prevented? That remains to be seen. There's a lot of variables involved. Those variables are what people like Ted Kowalski, who teaches superintendents and principals, spend hours thinking about. The question is, how can we effectively identify those, make interventions, and try to prevent it? Kowalski says school shootings happen in all types of communities and for a wide range of reasons. But the thing they share is the difficulty in preventing them. I think the point is that no school is perfectly safe. Uh, and we have to be prepared to deal with this. And it's unlikely that there's going to be some magic solution to this where it's all going to go away. Kowalski says determining which students are at risk can be tough. The difficult part for schools is the fine balance be between not acting and overreacting. Combs, who now protects students instead of air bases, says waiting to find out why the most recent shooting happened and not rushing to judgment is the important part. When that finally comes back out, and that way we have, we have a smarter approach in terms of how we want to respond to. Now, everybody I talked with says at this point it seems like school officials in Chardon did a great job in responding to the shooting. But whether more could have been done to keep it from getting to this point, well, that isn't known yet. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.